Hey guys, Jason Timothy here, musicsoftwaretraining.com. Today we're getting into a cool plugin called Melody Sauce. And uh, this plugin basically will create melodies for you in whatever key you want. And let me just get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in Melody Sauce here into its own MIDI track. And that's the way it's going to work. It's not something where you drag it after an instrument like this or something like that. You have it on its own track. And then I'll, I'll show you how it works from there. So let's go ahead and start. And I'll just show you some of the basic functions. So they recommend that you use the VST version if you're using Ableton. So what I found is if you're sending it to other tracks, I've got these tracks ready to go. By default, it's going to be set like this to all ends. And then what you would do is choose Melody Sauce. And then it will switch this to Post Effects. And then you click here and you can grab Melody Sauce there, which is what you want to do. What I've found is if you, let me just get rid of this real quick. If you drag in the audio units version and try to do the same thing, input melody sauce, it goes to post effects. What you'll see is you don't have that option for melody sauce. Um, I'm not really sure what that is, but anyway, a uh, solution I found is like they recommend use the VST version. So that's what we're gonna do here. And now let's go ahead and open this up. I guess I can get rid of this MIDI track here. So it looks a little complicated at first look, but it's pretty simple to use uh, when you understand what is going on here. So the first thing that you would do is pick the key that you'd like to work in. I wanna use an, a minor key but every major has a minor kind of uh, correlation key. So I'm gonna go with B, B flat minor. I just find it's an interesting key. And then over here, we could actually choose a sound that we want to use. So in this case, let me find, I'll just go with the soft lead. And now we can start uh, choosing what we want here. So I want my melody to be a little bit faster. I'm going to go with a long length loop. In fact, what I'm going to do here is let's stretch this out to eight bars. That way we can hear a longer loop. And I've just got like a, a drum loop here just to keep time. And then we can kind of go through different choices. So uh, octave, I believe that uh, zero sits kind of in the C3 octave or the third octave. And then obviously we go down or up. So let's just keep this in the middle for this example. Then we can set a groove or a triplet or a swing groove. And we'll, we'll check out the different options there. But let's, we're gonna start with uh, just no groove there. And let's click on legato. And legato basically means that it'll play one note all the way into the next note, depending on the sound. Next, we've got this middle spot, and this is really cool. This gives us kind of nine variations here of what type of melody we can make. So we can make kind of a lighter melody, which just a lighter mood, a darker mood, or a melody that has a little bit of both. And then we have a simple, complex, or all, which means uh, a little bit of both. And then there's these extra tabs. So I guess you can go extra dark or extra simple or extra complex. So let's go extra dark and extra complex. And that would put us, oh, and I'm gonna just go for both simple and complex. So that would be this right here because that's dark and as far as complexity all. So I'll just click that there. And it creates our melody right here. So then all we got to do is just uh, hit play and it'll start playing the melody. Cool. 
cool. And within this, you can add uh, reverb, delay, chorus. Let's go ahead and uh, add a lot of delay and a lot of reverb just for the heck of it. Now this is, uh, these options are only available if you're using internal sounds. Okay, so just understand that. Down here, we can actually harmonize with the melody that it creates. So we could have a high harmonization, mid, low, and I'm not really sure what this 8BB is, but I imagine it's kind of on the lower spectrum. So let's just uh, go from off down to the bottom and you, we can hear the differences. So cool. So uh, with that, we've actually got our melody. Now we can use this melody um, with just the melody sauce, or we can assign this melody to another one of our sounds. So the one approach that we can take is just to mute this and then take this melody, see this little cross here. We can just drag this on. Let's drag it onto our bell sound. And sure, we'll do this, drag this, and all right, so interesting stuff there. Now we've got it assigned to this. Now, if we want to hear the melody played on another instrument, like over here with our pads, then what we need to do is send it to, uh, or send it from the melody sauce. So in this case, I would just choose melody sauce here. By default, it's just going to say all ends and all channels. And then it's going to give us the option here. It's going to say post effects. Just click down and choose Melody Sauce. And now it's going to, we're gonna to wanna to arm this track. And if I solo this, interesting. So I'm not sure, oh, I see. So we probably need to set this to MIDI. Yep, there we go. And it's harmonizing right now. Let's go ahead and turn the harmonize off. And then we can add the bells back. And let's see what we got. Go ahead and we'll try to harmonize. Much better in this case with it off. So with that, it's sending to there. So now I can just take this melody if I like the way it is and just drag it onto that track. But we're able to kind of preview while we're building the sound. So we'll go ahead and just uh, drag this over. And let's get rid of these so we don't get confused. And let's do a fast light. Let's, let's do a little, con actually let's do extra light and Let's do simple and complex. And we'll do this up an octave. 
And this one will have a triplet, no legato here. And we don't need to worry about these because we're not using the internal sound. And in this case, we want to let's undo that one there and we'll send it to this lead. And let's see, let me solo this. Oh, let me grab that melody sauce there. All right, cool. So let's see what that sounds like together with everything else. And we'll add the drum beat in as well. So it's kind of, it, the syncopated part is uh, interesting, but kind of off as well. Can we turn syncopation? No, syncopation is, is on for either one. Let's, let's try the swing groove. Okay, that's cool. Um, Let's try with uh, extra complex. And we'll make a longer loop so that it's got kind of different variations. And I'm going to just uh, create, just by clicking here, we'll go ahead and use this. And then we could kind of tailor our sound, so let's... Uh Let's, uh, okay, we've got uh, some hybrid reverb. Let's play with this a little bit more. Let's add a little bit more reverb here. And a little bit of delay, why not? Let's play it all together. So it's not perfect, but it really gives you a lot to work with. And you could go and edit this, you know, afterwards as well to change to whatever you want. And once again, I can just drag my melody from here right into that part. Not really sure why it keeps asking to import the tempo because it is playing to the tempo. So that's kind of interesting. What if I just say no? I don't think it makes much of a difference. So there we go. Melody Sauce just created uh, like kind of a song for me to get started with. And I know it's got some other complexities that I haven't gone into. I might make another video at some point when I figure it out. But it looks like here we can like kind of create different uh, 
kind of chord structures or what have you. At least that's what it looks like here. So we could kind of flip between these options uh, throughout. And I haven't experimented with that, but it looks like, yeah, there's a lot of interesting things. This flip button probably is pretty interesting. Rhythm and all this different stuff. So I may come back and create another video when I figure out how this part of the tool works. But uh, otherwise, guys, I hope that you got something out of this. Uh, really great tool from Isotonic. And uh, I'll leave a, a link below so that you could check it out if you want. Uh, really great tool. It's really great when you you know don't have like an idea of what you're going for and you kind of got a blank slate. This can kind of kickstart some ideas and then you can manipulate it in your own way. So yeah, really enjoying this so far. Really great stuff. So with that, guys, have a great one. I'll speak to you guys most likely tomorrow. Take care.